ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. We got to talk about this situation with uh, little man Tory Lanez, okay? So Tory Lanez, it had been rumored over the weekend that there was some type of altercation that Tory Lanez got into a fight with August Alsina. And Tory initially was kind of denying it and trying to play it off. And then the receipts came out to play. So let me go ahead and show you guys. And I hate this picture of August. He looks like he's dead here. Such a weird picture. Let me share my screen real quick so y'all can see this. Give me just a second. All right. So August Alsina took to social media to, you know, sit in the corner of an elevator with his eyes closed and his mouth all bloody and shit um, to show y'all that, you know, Tory Lanez did something to him. So this is what August wrote. He says, as I'm exiting the building after the show last night, a 4'11 size leprechaun, <laughs> not 4'11, <laughs> a 4'11 size leprechaun ran down on me with eight oversized security niggas whom I greeted each individually upon their walk up as they tried to press me the whole time I'm one deep with no security Tori continues to ask with a broken ego why I didn't dap him up I go on to tell him I was a fan of him and I didn't understand him speaking of my business publicly in the past because I don't know him or have ever met him until last night so when he spoke on me, so when he spoke on it, it caught me off guard because of, so when he spoke, it caught me off guard because of his past actions. I had assumed that he didn't like me. That's all, not to mention with my history of my health and my condition and just recently um, overcoming being paralyzed, my doctor directed me to not compromise my health while out on the road and shake as less hands as possible due to the C-19 and monkeypox. Look for a moment, because them moments ain't happening on stage for you. I will assist you in that gracefully. His people got the whole thing on camera. Put the footage out. I'd like to see it. Anyways, let me go clean this blood off my face with some echinacea wellness. Because you can't forget to throw in the promo. <laughs> uh, then Tory Lanez, oh God, he comes onto the internet and he says this. I don't know what everybody's talking about. But I've been in the studio, dot, 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 dot. I'm not on anything negative. I've been working on myself, dot, 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 and being a better person. Tori, shut the fuck up. So that is what was said. And, you know, at first, I, I took everything with a grain of salt. You know, we saw the blood on August's face, but, you know, I like receipts, bitch, Okay. Then the receipts came out a few days later showing that, you know, this four foot, you know, leprechaun was not in the studio minding his business. He was not in the studio doing the right thing. He was pressed because somebody wouldn't dap him up. So we have that video here it came out the other day. So let me go ahead and share my screen with y'all. Give me just a second. <laughs> That's August walking right past him. Tori's looking there shocked. But look at Tori's hat with the devil horns. Hey, I wish got that. I dig it. So now they're running after August. You knocked his ass out, Tori. You knocked him out. Tori said he just knocked August out. See the ass right out. One punch crunched him, Tori. He say one plus crushed his ass. Look up, look up. He's just did that. But Tori, I, I thought you were in the studio working on being a better man and a better person. What is this, you know? He literally is running around looking like a little leprechaun, got the little devil horns. I didn't even know they made baseball caps with devil horns on there. What kind of Illuminati shit is you on? I'm like, what kind of hat is this? I've never seen a hat with devil horns on there. But um. So he's swerping down. He was in the studio minding his black ass business, but the internet showed us otherwise, okay? 
Now, my issue with Tori is this. You have a court case coming up in like, I believe a week or two against Megan the Stallion, where you allegedly, you know what I'm saying, shot her in her, you know, foot and you claim that you didn't do anything that, you know, supposedly maybe Kelsey did it. There's all these, you know, speculations. Like I said, I had no dog in that damn fight. I'm over the story. We just want to see what the court comes up. You know, I want to see the court's conclusion. My thing is this, when you have a case and it's concerning a domestic violence and a possible attempted murder or whatever, um, you would think that you would genuinely be laying low. Your ego is that fragile because August Alcina, who's like six foot five, <laughs> refused to dap you up. And, and you know what? I, I, I feel August on that because I'm kind of the same way. If you don't like me, if you're not feeling me, keep the same energy because I'm damn sure going to keep the same energy. I'm not going to come in and speak and, you know, be on some fake shit. If you're speaking on me, if you have an issue with me, then keep the same energy. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to come up and talk, I'll be respectful, but I'm not going to engage with you first. That's just not how I get down. You know, so I get August being like, OK, you've been talking about me and talk because what it was was Tory Lanez called August Alcina snitch for basically talking about Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, he felt like, you know, he should have just kept that to himself. It wasn't anybody's business. Well, I mean, that's fine for Tori to feel that way. And Tori is allowed to have an opinion. But again, Tori, you should have kept your opinion to amongst your friends because see, you don't really want to speak on people when your shit ain't clean. August has never spoke on you, you know, shooting Meg in her foot. August has never spoke about your situation. He's never commented on it, unlike all the other people in the industry who literally turned their backs on you, you know what I'm saying, uh, didn't even wait for the evidence to come out. They literally just shitted on you, you know what I mean? August didn't do any of that. So I feel August for being upset. Like, I never spoke on this little man. I never said anything. You know, I let him do what he had to do. So for him to be speaking on me and calling me a snitch, that's bullshit, you know? So August felt like, okay, well, since I'm a snitch, keep that same energy. Don't dat me up. Don't talk to me. So I don't understand how his ego can get that fragile. I can see if August said something flipped to him, like, little man, I don't shake leprechauns and kept on walking down the hall. He just looked at him and was like, oh, anyways, and kept walking. That was it. And see, this is what I say all the time. People will allow their egos to get them into situations that they can't get out of. So because of his ego, you think we're the only ones looking at little man and his tantrum right now? Oh, no. Best believe the courts, the judge, the lawyers, the prosecutors, they're watching this. And they're saying to themselves, because I know me, if I was on the jury or if I was a judge, I'm like, damn, he got that upset because somebody wouldn't dap him up? I just didn't say anything to you. He literally walked his merry way down the hallway and your ego got that fragile that you ran after him with your big old security guards, you know, because you couldn't handle August one-on-one. -on -one. So you ran after him with your security guards. You knew your security guards would help. They'd make sure that August didn't get the best of you because you know August is like six foot five. He's from New Orleans. You know, you know them New Orleans boys, you know how they get down. Not only they got them sexy accents, but they're crazy as hell, okay? Um, so, he, he went there to go beat him up. So if I'm on the jury or if I'm the judge and I would look at this like, okay, if you got that upset because this man wouldn't dap you up that you went and basically jumped him, what happened the night with you and Megan? What really happened? Because if you're this mad at this six foot five man who did nothing to you, what did you do to that six foot girl? <laughs> Were you mad? Was it height envy? Like, it seems like he has a lot of issues with tall people. He done shot tall Megan. Now he's attacking tall ass August Alcina. What is it with Tory and tall people? He's beefing with the talls. Okay? Instead of taking on the smalls, the people around his height, he's beefing with the talls. I don't know how I would look at it. I would look at it like this man has beef with tall folks. Why is that? Is it height envy? Was he upset that a tall, thick woman, you know what I'm saying? Granted, she was probably drunk out her damn mind, but she said some flippant shit and he couldn't handle it. So then he decided to pull out a gun and, you know, Yosemite Sam her like she was Bugs Bunny and shit. Pow, pow. Remember what they said in the transcript? Dance, bitch. Like, I, that, you know, at this point, I'm, I'm having to give him the side eye. You done punch this man in the mouth. August had to go to the hospital. Let me see if I had the pictures of his mouth. 
His mouth looked really bad. Well, it's on the damn uh, thumbnail. His mouth was blood. He had to go to the hospital, get stitches. And, you know, as a singer, that's that's where you get your money. You know what I'm saying? It's from, you know, singing and stuff like that. So you basically mess with that man's bag. And because of that now, Tory has now messed up his own bag. He's been officially kicked off the tour. So, again, was it worth it, Mr. Lanes? I don't think it was worth it. Uh, the promoter is speaking out. It's a TMZ clip, so I really don't want to play it. But let me just show y'all uh, the article. I don't want to play it, though, because, uh, you know, TMZ child. But basically, uh, the, the, the promoter of the show is called Rip Michaels. And he says um, he's the one who created the show. And he has confirmed that Tory straight up sucker punched August because he didn't speak to him and announced that Tory was kicked off the tour. So it has not been confirmed that Tory, you know, he officially messed up that bag. And for what? Because of ego, because of narcissism, because August is tall and cute. <laughs> And hung like a damn horse, bitch. <laughs> Dre heard it from me. <laughs> that that I'm just assuming that's why Jada was, you know what I'm saying, all of my August and stuff, okay? So, yeah, it's a mess. That whole situation is a mess, but it's not a good look because, again, Tori has a court case. And let's not forget, Tori is also on probation. Now, he had already got a probation violation when him and the other little short man, the baby, who can't even sell concert tickets right now, child. And funny enough, it was New Orleans. <laughs> so this little man done beat up somebody from New Orleans. Meanwhile, the other little man can't sell no tickets in New Orleans, child. They said he tried to perform in New Orleans and nobody really showed up. They had to cancel it. I guess it was for like a big old, you know, arena. And folks in NOLA was like, nah, we pass. And so they had to cancel the tour. Very interesting that both these young men, these little men, are being affected by people in New Orleans. But anyways, um, you know, they got up on stage together, they performed together, and it ended up being a violation of Tori's probation. Meg, you know, she she uh, galloped down the court, you know what I mean? And, and, you know, she filed a restraining order and said she felt unsafe, and they granted it to her. And they told him if he gets in any more trouble, he can get locked up. So, you know, he's really locked up so far. So for him to do this, he better hope that they don't end up, you know, revoking, you know, his probation or whatever the hell he's on, revoking it and throwing him in jail because what he did to August was assault. And the fact that August has not pressed charges on him, that really doesn't matter because you had the promoter confirming that August did not start anything with Tory, that he was assaulted. So at yeah, the Chicago police, if they want to be on some, you know what I'm saying, funny shit, not really funny shit, they just want to do their damn job like they're supposed to do, they really could pick up the charges. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what comes of this. But, um, you know, August, he needs his check. August, you know, he's not really popping like that. He said he's been kind of blacklisted because of the Smiths and everything. So he needs his money. So it'd be very funny if August turned around and also sued Tory. Again, you're that upset because this man didn't dap you up. I just think it's stupid. And it just shows Tori's, you know, little man ego. And, you know, August is dealing with health issues. He's dealing with very serious health issues. Um, at one point in time, he went blind for a little bit. That's when Jada, you know, came in as a mentor. Um, he's passed out on stage. Like, he's dealing with a lot of health complications. So him being hit on like that, that's not okay. I mean, that that's not okay in the least. So... I don't know what's going to happen from here if the police are going to, you know, charge Tory, if, you know, August is going to maybe press charges or even sue. But August definitely has all the rights to do that, you know. But in the meantime, I'm definitely waiting to see what happens with this whole Meg the Stallion case, because for everybody, you know, saying, oh, uh, Meg was just drunk and, you know, she started it and, and Tory didn't do anything. Well, now here's video proof. You know, y'all got to give her some leeway now. You know what I'm saying? This man literally beat up somebody simply because they walked past him. And again, this is somebody that he made fun of, that he clowned, and he caught a snitch. So why should this man talk to you? Like he said, well, I assumed he didn't like me. 
And I'm the same way. If I feel like you don't like me, you talking shit, fuck, I'm going to sit here and entertain you for it. Bitch, we got moves to make. We walking up the street. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel odd. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.